What's up with you guys? I'm Nike Simone. Here I am in Princess of a City and whatever city that I'm in. If you're right on the title, then you already know that this is another Pray for Plant episode. If you're interested, if there's something you're interested in, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to mm, hit the notification bell up top so you get all my videos as soon as I post them, post them, post them, post them, post them. If there's something you're interested in, let's hop right into the video. Video, video, video. So you already know the first thing for prayer book plan is that we pray. So we just gonna hop right into it. Close your eyes, bow your head, let's go. Father God, we come to you with bow head and close eyes to say thank you for another day, another opportunity, another chance of life. Father God, continue to give us the ability to show up for you. Continue to give us the ability to choose you first over everything else in our life. Father God, in times in which we get to scrape, pull us back home, hold us here. Father God, do not let us go. Hold me close, Father God. Hold us close, Father God, so that we wouldn't let go, so that we can't let go, so that you, so that we know, just like you know, that you, you, you fighting for this just as much as we're fighting for this. You're fighting for your children just as much as your children is fighting to come back home. Father God, remove anything that's a hindrance to becoming better. Remove anything that's a hindrance to becoming blessed. Remove anything that's a hindrance into allowing us discernment from evil to good. Father God, I ask that you watch over my family, watch over, watch over everybody's family, watch over my loving arms and loving wings around them, Father God, as they travel, as we travel, as we go to and from on these dangerous highways. Father God, grant us silence in all the times in which we endeavor, Father God. Grant us silence, grant us peace. Let us understand that we have to suffer because we are the children of God and if without if we didn't suffer we'll be part of the world we don't want to be part of the world God let us just live here live here on this place but let us not be part of this world father God remove anything that's keeping us connected to this world remove anything that's keeping us connected to 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 past trauma remove anything that's keeping us connected to to things that we are familiar with father God remove all things so that you could create in us a new heart a new soul father God so that you could create in us a new willingness to learn a new eagerness to to go out to your word father God bless me as I try to pull your people back to Christ in all the endeavors that I can in a little way that I know how bless me grant me the ability to do this even when I sometimes most times I know I can't I feel like I can't but I know that if I show up with you I know if they show up with you if they show up to the battle with you just like I show up to the battle with you father God I know that we could bring home a victory I know that they could bring home a victory I know that with you father God we is destined for to be victorious and then we destined to put your people back to Christ to put your back to God to put your people back to the things that matter because most people chasing things that do not matter man chasing mavericks father god let us not chase mavericks man Okay, I'm hopping in because I want to redact the statement that I said that I'm saying right now about chasing Mavericks. If you really understand the concept of chasing Mavericks, that's not something that I would ask God to make us stop doing. Chasing Mavericks is like chasing a big dream, going for the biggest goal there is. So I want to tell you guys to not chase Mavericks. So I did ask God to redact that line from the prayer. which we are embarking on a journey that we've never embarked on before. We know that you go before us in this place. But grant us silence, grant us confidence, grant us the ability to say, yo, my God got me. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And through the valley of shadow of death, I should feel no evil. And with that, I must go. With that, I must, I can't say I'm scared. With that, I can't say, say with that, it leaves no excuse. If I know that, it leaves no excuse. So that is the prayer portion of this video, you guys. And um, I hope it bless you. I hope it bless me. I hope that you know, I got a blunt. Let's smoke it. I And I think I just so have to read the cross Deuteronomy to study this portion. Not to stop, but to at least get you guys this group. Get you guys this group of, of, of information. Excuse 
the noise outside, there is more. I'm gonna pull this. Guys, about an important portion of the video is the generation of people who did not believe in God. Let's be it. So, in Moses' last message, in, in, in Moses' last message, which is Deuteronomy, Moses' fifth book, Moses, Moses is adamant. Moses is adamant that in order for the children of Israel to take the land of Canaan that God has promised them, they must follow the laws that has been given to them on Mount Sinai, right? God is saying, go away into this land. Before God is telling them to prepare yourself to go to this land, before you go to this land, he allowed Moses to slay a couple of people of power as, as, a, as a representation that God will fulfill his promise to the children of Israel, that God will fulfill his promise to the children of Israel um, if they have, if they keep the faith, right? So boom, he, so boom, it's Deuteronomy, Moses' last message, God gave him laws on Mount Sinai in order for, God gave him the Ten Commandments, right? Basically, so the, the laws that was given to Moses on Mount Sinai is the Ten Commandments. That's, that is the Ten Commandments, right? So, so boom, God allowed God allowed Moses to slay a couple of people of power to prove that God will keep His promise to the children of Israel if they only keep the faith. Boom, God is saying, go out into the land of the Canaanites, go into Syria, Iraq, the Euphrates. This is modern day. This is what these places is called in the modern day time, but they are actually what was in, what was composed of. The promised land, according to this book that I'm studying. It said, go out into these lands because this land is the land that I have given you. This is the land that I have given to the children of Israel for possession. They getting all prepared to go. They're, they're, they're on this journey. They're on this journey. And Moses is saying, God has, has already multiplied you as many as the sand in the shore, sand on the shores, and the stars in the sky. Basically, Moses is saying he need them to go amongst themselves to pick people to help him govern. He states that these people should be of knowledge and understanding, should be people who believe in God. You know what I'm saying? Just that they pick to actually help Moses lead them are judges who do not have, who ju are judges who also lack faith. They're in, in God and in, in what God can do for them. They're, they already lack faith, so they're leading them to be to also, they're leading them to also lack faith. They had to arrive to the promised land. All they had to do was go in. God wasn't even going to chastise them for not believing prior. Because keep in mind, these are people that God is moving from Egypt to the wilderness, to the promised land. So God has showed them so many signs and so many times have God showed them. All they had to do was go in. He, they felt like they needed to send spies in so that they could see what was actually in the land. But well, the judges brought this information to him and he heard this information and he heard them and he said he thought that it sounded like a good idea to send the spies in to check out the promised land. So he allowed them to go. The spies went in. When they came back, they brought bittersweet news saying basically, yo, the land that God has given us is good. The land is filled with fruits and food and it's filled with wonderful things and works. But the, the the land is occupied by giants. The land has the land is I so once they found out that the land had all those things, but also the giants, basically they lost faith. They started to say things like God had brought them there to die. He brought them from where he took them out of Egypt, delivered them from Pharaoh from Egypt just so that he could hand them over to the giants as prey for the giants um, type stuff. They were saying all this crazy stuff. And Moses said, God heard. And God said, he said, save Caleb because Caleb have followed me wholeheartedly. To, and encourage Joshua, the one who is strong and mighty, encourage Joshua because even those who are strong and mighty need encouragement. And save Joshua, because, encourage Joshua because Joshua is who will it will be Joshua who helped Israel inherit the promised land. Boom. God said, Moses will not be allowed to go into the promised land because he allowed them to not believe. He showed his own, he, he showed his own speck of disbelief by 
allowing the by allowing the spies to go into the promised land to check it out to see what God had already prepared for them. He couldn't go in the promised land because of that. He said Moses would not be allowed to go into the promised land. He said to all the children who to all the children who knew no difference between good and evil, they will be allowed to go to the promised land. To all the children who knew no difference between good and evil, they will be allowed to go to the promised land. And to all the parents who had said that I brought your children here to die, and to all the parents who had said I had brought your children here to die, you will not be allowed to go into the promised land. And half a and and half of all the parents who did not believe that God had brought them this far, brought them out of Egypt. Moses told them. Moses tried to encourage them and say, yo, do not be afraid. Even after the giants, Moses tried to say, don't be afraid of them because God has prepared them. But Moses, that, that, that little speck of disbelief caused Moses his hit. But boom, the whole story is to tell you guys, did God allow a whole generation of children to go to become orphans because their parents didn't believe? We're living in a world full of people who do not believe in God. So understand why we live in the same world well, that's filled with offerings. Offerings. Because God will not allow, God ain't allowed parents in. Just imagine if God allowed parents in that did not believe who would teach kids to grow up to not believe or to have half belief or to like have half faith. I don't want you guys to be people who do not believe in God, man. Do not, man, you gotta believe in God. You gotta believe in God, Jesus, Holy Ghost, man. You gotta believe in the Trinity. You gotta believe, man. You gotta believe in, and, and if not, then what? Because if not, then what? Like, you can't believe in, you can't believe in science and not believe in God. Okay, pray, puff, plan, plan segment of the video. You guys, I'm not doing much. I'm lying. <laughs> I don't say I'm not doing much, but I'm lying. I really got a good group of stuff I need to do um, for today, actually. Um, like I say, if you watch one of my last videos, you know my kid was out of town. Um, my kid is out of town on a trip. So, I have to do things like YouTube content, edit this video, edit the last video I made, um, make some shorts, um, make some TikToks. Um, yeah, the TikToks, the shorts, um, edit this YouTube video. If I get them things out the way, that'll be good. Oh, I also need to make some posts because I I, I started like and I started making posts on my channel and I'm starting to like that. Um, I like posts and um, I hope you've seen some of them. If you don't, a couple of them say just like daily reminders to 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 dear God, daily reminder to burn rubber not your soul, daily reminder to um. Um, daily reminder, like if you want to, uh, if you want to take the crown from the King of Cali, you got to get you some colors. They, that's kind of pretty much what my plan is today. Um, I'm still rocking the heart monitor and I kind of hit it now. So all I got to do, you guys, um, that's pretty much it for this pray for plan video. I hope it guys, I hope it blesses you. I hope that this is a good endeavor that I'm embarking on. I hope that God bless it. Um, I ask God often. That I ask God often to make sure, like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not leading up nobody down the wrong path, because, because I don't want to be a person leading nobody astray. But I, I read something that said that I read something that said if you do not do what God has called you to do, you cause a whole generation of people to miss out on hearing what God wants you to tell them. It'll be basically like on you, like you, you, you didn't do, you didn't do your part, and. All I'm trying to do, you guys, like I say, is do my part. Um, I, I'm not no perfect Christian, but I'm a dedicated child of God, princess of the said, granny, gift and chosen. Um, nobody can take it from me. Um, I'm gonna really get ready to hop off of you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to tell a friend, tell a friend, like to Honey Kansei. And yeah, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in my next video.